Hi there. Now, when you're working with vector questions, especially ones in three dimensions, what simplifies the question is if you can draw sketches. But I often find that students are very reluctant to do this because they think it's very difficult. They don't want to draw in three dimensions. Well, the purpose behind this video is to show you a simple way of doing this. Let's suppose that you've got a question that involves, say, a line L, where the position vector r of any point on the line is equal to the position vector of a known fixed point, let's say 1, 2, 3, plus lambda times a vector parallel to the line, let's say 1, 1, 1. This point A, with coordinates 1, 2, 3, would be a point on the line when lambda equals 0. And if you set lambda equal to, say, minus 4, this point B would also be on the line. So let's say then that you had to sketch this information. What you don't want to be doing is, say, trying to draw a sketch something like this, a three-dimensional sketch. You can see here I've got the x, y and z axes and the points A and B in their relative positions with the line L passing through them. Now to draw something like this is unnecessary for most problems. So what type of drawing do we do? Well, it all depends on your viewpoint. In the current viewpoint, it's going to look something like this. But if I were to rotate this, you can see that in this position, the origin is above the line. And if I rotate it to this position, it's below the line. And when it comes to the two points on the line, you can see that the blue line here is to the left of the green one. But I can easily rotate it into another position where the green is now to the left of the blue. And also, when it comes to the lengths of these two, they're going to change depending on the way that you view this. OK, so look, you can see here the blue is a lot shorter than the green. But then if I manipulate this into another position, we can make the blue a lot longer than the green. So. There's an infinite number of positions that we can view the line and the points on the line. In fact, we don't even need to have the axes drawn. And so we're left with a diagram looking something like this, which again, we can just rotate in many different positions. And it's with this concept that we can draw our diagrams. So when it comes to drawing, say, your line L, do follow these guidelines. Just draw a line then in any position, marking an origin in any position, marking the points A and B in any position on the line, and then you'll be able to carry out any necessary calculations. So here's just a few samples of the kind of diagrams you could draw something like this, or this, or this. The list is infinite. So when it comes to carrying out any necessary calculations, it doesn't matter which diagram you're working on, it will always work. For instance, suppose you're asked to find the vector a to b. a to b is going to be o to b minus o to a. It just doesn't matter what diagram you're working from. So I hope that's given you some idea then so that you're not afraid of drawing diagrams for vector questions. I'd strongly encourage you to do that because it can greatly simplify your understanding of what's going on.